So much about this situation, frankly, is just mind boggling to me. Uh, we have uh, one of the chief accountability committees in parliament that is asking for vaccine contracts related to the COVID-19 vaccine. That is all we're asking for. The information which many public servants have should be available to this community committee because their function is implementation of the government's directives. But our function as a committee is accountability, is review and to provide those recommendations. So the government and pharmaceutical companies who are here today are happy to have the implementers, the, the, the public servants who, who, who don't have that same accountability uh, challenge function, they're happy for them to have the documents, which is, which is in some more people, but you're not willing to let us have access to the documents. And it's important to just underline that in our system, we have the supremacy of parliament, which means that parliament is the supreme lawmaking body. And that doesn't seem to be understood by the witnesses very well, that we have an, a, an unfettered, constitutionally protected right to request documents. This has been recognized for over a hundred years by multiple speakers as recently as by Speaker Rhoda. That it, it's not a question of, of us engaging in some kind of negotiation. Like we're going to ask really politely and we're going to let you eat some of the cookies at the back and then maybe you'll give us a little more Point information in the documents. We have a right to access this information. I'm extremely frustrated by it uh, that we have witnesses who, who don't understand how the law works, who don't understand the fact that a parliamentary committee uh, is is unfettered in its right to access documents. And we should use that power responsibly. We will use that power responsibly. We are not seeking these documents for public release. We are saying that these members of this committee should be able to privately access this information so that we can provide information to the government. And uh, and yet the government is unwilling to provide these contracts, uh, and you are opposing the provision of these contracts. And it makes me wonder what, what in it uh, is so damaging to you or to the government that allowing members of parliament to privately review them would be such a concern. Now, I want to particularly highlight that Speaker Anthony Rhoda uh, made a ruling at the end of the last parliament that reaffirmed a hundred years of precedent saying that parliamentary committees have an unfettered right to access documents. Uh, do you recognize the authority of the speaker to make that ruling? And do you believe that the government and that companies should comply with the law in this respect? And I'll take a short answer from all of the witnesses. Do you recognize the authority of the speaker to make this ruling and the obligation of the government and of companies to comply with the law? We'll start with uh, Mr. Baylet. Sanofi. Um... Sanofi recognizes the obligation uh, that we have to respect laws and we respect laws wherever we, we operate. Um, as far as the competency of that committee uh, to uh, review uh, a unredacted version of the contract of Sanofi, I cannot answer that question. So you don't think we're competent, but you accept the Speaker's ruling and the obligation to provide? I would not uh, judge. I'm, okay, well... I'm, I'm, um, Ms. Sampson. I, I, that's not what I said. I'm, Thank I'm, you. I'm, well, okay. Well, I don't know what you said, but I only have so much time. Ms. Sampson, do, do you recognize the speaker's ruling and your obligation to comply with the law? I understand the direction that this committee would like to take. Um, and I am not refuting any of the uh, authorities uh, that have been placed with this committee. Uh, but it, it is still Pfizer's position that we not provide an unredacted contract. So... So again, not not really an answer. Forty five seconds. Big big pharma is not supposed to be above the law, and we need these contracts. Ms. Gauthier, what's your position on the speaker's ruling? Yeah. So I mean, we will comply. We comply with the laws in every country where we operate. Okay. Uh, we will always continue. And that includes an order of a parliamentary committee. We will we will comply with the law Thank in you. every country Thank you. where we operate.